Timeless concepts from physics helpline. In this video tutorial, we will discuss a multiple choice question taken from JE Main Physics Question Paper of 2023. The question is based on comparison of B Broglie wavelength associated with a proton and an alpha particle in motion. Read the question carefully. A proton moving with one tenth of velocity of light has a certain de Broglie wavelength lambda. An alpha particle having certain kinetic energy has the same de Broglie wavelength lambda. The ratio of kinetic energy of the proton and that of alpha particle is the options are given in the question. We are required to find the correct option. Now for the solution. De Broglie wavelength associated with a fundamental particle moving with linear momentum P is given by lambda is equal to H by P where H is equal to the Planck's constant. Now momentum P is equal to mass into velocity therefore we get de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to H by mb. Now it is given in the question that the de Broglie uh, wavelength associated with the alpha particle is the same as that of the proton. Therefore we can write H by m alpha v alpha is equal to H by mp vp. This is for alpha particle and this is for the proton. Cancelling H from both sides of the equation, we get the m alpha v alpha should be equal to mp into vp. Now, the mass of the alpha particle is 4 times the mass of the proton. So, m alpha is equal to 4 times mp. So, putting m alpha is equal to 4 mp, we get 4 mp into v alpha is equal to mp into vp. Now, cancelling mp from both sides of the equation, we get the v alpha is equal to vp by 4. Now, let us remove everything and put it there. Now, it is given in the question that the velocity of the proton is one tenth of the velocity of light. So, we get vp is equal to c by 10, therefore v alpha is equal to vp by 4 which is equal to c by 40. Let us write the data here. We are required to find the ratio of kinetic energy of the proton to that of the kinetic energy of the alpha particle. Now kinetic energy is equal to half mp square. So kinetic energy of proton is equal to half mp into vp square. Similarly kinetic energy of alpha particle is equal to half m alpha v alpha square. Now half cancels with half in the denominator. Now putting m alpha is equal to 4 uh, times mp, 4 mp, we get the, the ratio of kinetic energy is equal to mp vp square divided by 4 mp v alpha square. Now mp cancels with mp in the denominator which gives us 1 by 4 into vp by v alpha whole square. Now let us remove this and put it there. Now let us put the values of Vp and V alpha. Putting the values we get uh, 1 by 4 into Vp is equal to C by 10 into divided 1 by V alpha which is equal to 40 by C. C by 10 into 40 by C whole square. Now C cancels with C and 10 cancels with 40 giving us 4 which gives the ratio of kinetic energy equal to 1 by 4 into 4 square which uh, cancelling 1 4 from both uh, from uh, numerator and denominator we get this is the ratio is equal to 4 therefore the required ratio kinetic energy of proton is to kinetic energy of alpha particle is equal to 4 is to 1 this is the answer to the question. This is the answer. Therefore, the correct option 
is four. Four is the correct option. Now we will discuss a shortcut method where we will not be using the data given in the question, which is the velocity of the proton is equal to one tenth of velocity of light. This will not be used. We can directly solve this problem. Now the de Broglie the wavelength associated with uh, a fundamental particle in motion is given by lambda is equal to h by p, where h is the Planck constant and the p is the momentum of the particle. And it is given in the question that lambda p, lambda, the de Broglie wavelength of the proton is the same as that of the alpha particle. So we have written lambda p is equal to lambda alpha. Therefore putting the values, we get lambda p is equal to h by p p and which is equal to lambda alpha is equal to h by p alpha. Now cancelling h from both sides of the equation, we get p p is equal to p alpha. Let us remove everything put it there. Now momentum p is equal to mb mass into velocity and kinetic energy e is equal to half mb square. This gives p is equal to square root of 2 mb. Let us use this here. So using p is equal to square root of 2 me, we get from this equation pp is equal to p alpha, we get square root of 2 mp ep is equal to square root of 2 m alpha e alpha. Squaring this equation we get square root of uh, square, uh, square of square root uh, is removed. So we get uh, 2 mp ep is equal to 2m alpha e alpha. Now these two gets cancelled. Now for the required ratio, that is the ratio of kinetic energy of the proton and the alpha particle. So you get Ep by e alpha. Ep by e alpha is equal to m alpha by mp and uh, m alpha is equal to 4 mp. Therefore we get this as m alpha by mp is equal to 4. Therefore we get Ep is to e alpha equal to 4 is to 1 which is the answer to the question therefore the correct option is 4. This completes the answer to the question. Thanks for watching.